Think fast, chuckle nuts! <laughs>
It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits von Wiedeschnasser, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Meow. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Okay. On it. What? Why is it the first thing I do tiptoes and I just get the... Okay, so there's sneaking. Anyway. So... Again, I have never played this game orig originally, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little... Sorry, I, I need to turn this down. Because there's going to be a lot of underlying things, but yeah. I have not played this game myself, but what I do know of this game is it, it's very much... Structured to be like a collectathon, you know, your Banjo Kazooies, your your Who's a Who's, your oh god, right. Wait, why can't I jump on half this stuff? Uh, oh, okay. So press trigger. Oh. But does that go away, or does that always stay there? Okay, it does go away. So I can, it's right trigger for stat screen. But yeah, it's it's a collectathon. It's not exactly, you know, collectathons are kind of things that a lot a lot of people miss, and I, it's kind of why you know, ban, like I mentioned a second ago, Banjo Kazooie came back. Is it's kind of a tried tried and true trusted thing. Oh hey, a golden spatula. I should have probably read read up on what they do. What's Golden Spatula? I seem to have misplaced the Golden Spatula. So effectively, the jiggies of this game. Okay, I'm drawing parallels. I can see why people enjoyed this game as much as they did growing up. Anyway, reading. Okay. That's nice to know. Can I climb ladders? No, I cannot. Okay, I have an attack button. Uh, oh, I skipped through that. I, I skipped through the cut, the slapstick. Okay, so. Okay. So I can get more health. So I can get more things in order to do more things. I found the attack button. Oh, and here. So can I... I don't know, I'm just kind of finding things out because I... I have seen somebody play a little bit of this before on a stream, so I'm kind of just fishing around for buttons. In my own, uh... In, well, in my own... Explorative nature. Okay. I feel like there should be like. I feel like I should have something that lets me do a ground pound. Uh. Wait. 
Okay, what is it? Oh! Okay, so press B. I was just about to say, there should be like a... Yeah, something like that. To do a ground pound of sorts. So I do have a ground grounding pounding. Uh, so here's my next question, is do I have very precise platforming I have to do? Because I do see that over there. No, I feel I can get that. Anyway, let me read things. Bubble Bash, Smash Tiki's Robots for... Oh, directly... Okay. See, we read. Uh, I can view the details. Okay, so there is a checklist you can go through as well. Good. So if I press this... Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea on this. Okay. Hear me out. Because that's probably a button I can press. Oh, there's a ceiling on this. Why is there a ceiling level on this? Well... Oh, that's a button. I just realized this is a button. I get it. Now, do I feel weird playing a game based on Spongebob? Definitely a children's cartoon thing? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm, uh... I'm on a timer. So yeah, I do feel a little weird playing, you know, basically a game based on a children's cartoon. I do. But, you know, there's a reason why people love this, love this game. Why is that there? Okay, well, that's all done. I'm curious why that was there. Was there something else I could have gotten to in here? I don't think so. Oh, well, somebody will probably yell at me in the comments saying, Yeah, you could have gone for me if you burn for me, burn Okay. Well, I feel like I've explored fairly... I feel like I've explored fairly thoroughly, at the very least. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? Spongebob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Well, uh, I'm in the open world. Also, there are a few things about this game that, uh, like, there are a few unfortunate things about this game. Not, like, this specific version of the game, but just, like, even the initial version of this game. I see, but first let me do let me do what I want to do first, which is destroy things and get and get shinies. Oh, I'm on a timer. Uh I'm I'm well aware. I'm on a couple timers, it seems. Uh oh shoot! some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man but uh, all i need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots oh yeah sorry 
I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Okay, I, I like how I got nowhere near that and inactivated. So here's the unfortunate thing, and I don't get to be quiet for this, is, uh, unfortunately they did not, unfortunately Clancy Brown was not available. Not in the original recording of, of, uh, Battle for King Bottom, nor the rehydrated version. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. So do I just... walk away and walk towards him again? Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Oh, okay, that's all I need, so 3,000. Okay. Noted. Anyway, now that I push the button again, let me actually... There are missiles in the ground, I've just finally noticed. Anyway. So yeah, they were... Unfortunately, they... They weren't able to uh, have Clancy Brown come in for either recording of this game. So, we just get... Knockoff... Recording, which... Nothing against the voice actor initially. Just... Uh, Mr. Krabs, this is not. Now somebody's gonna... Can I just sneak up on these guys? I can. I've learned. I've adapted. Here, let me just... Hi, how's it going? Oh! That was a bad idea. Because... Something tells me getting on top of these yields something. It yields nothing. What's the point? <laughs> Sorry. But like I said, I have seen my play a little bit of this, so I guess I'm not blind in the aspect of... I'm not blind just in the aspect simply of... I've seen somebody else play a little bit of this, but I myself have never actually played this game myself. If that... Helps. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit tender from the stings. I'll get back to you in just a second, Squidward, but yeah. Because I probably cut I probably cut out my thing. It probably doesn't help my case that I know I probably look like I know roughly where I'm supposed to be going this whole time. I can't help it when I've watched somebody else play this game. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy, and oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Well, I've been given a quest. So, yeah, I've. It's. But yeah, still, it's a collectathon game. There's not much. I mean, you gotta think about this when, when it, thinking about it from the outside in. It's like. It's a collectathon. It's a collectathon game 
for, of a chill of a children's cartoon. So almost everything in here, I, I, knock it off. So there's not really mu like much groundbreaking or anything super technical here. Go away, jellyfish. Bop the jellyfish. Hang on, that's a. Well, what if I want to fall in the goo anyway? Anyway, what do you... This is one of the few things from the show I remember, and this is this is kind of cute to me. It's the imagination box. Again, I haven't seen I haven't seen later runnings. Um, I haven't seen later runs. Shut up, SpongeBob Life. Thank God damn. Uh, I haven't seen like later seasons, so I don't know everything about the show. But there are going to be a few things I will know just because I happen to watch a couple. Just because I have watched a few episodes here and there, that and some of my friends are are basically walking bibles of the Sponge of SpongeBob SquarePants. Patrick, that's a pickle. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I have fun. Now, I don't know. This is probably going to be the weirdest thing for you guys to see. Because most of you people that are coming here are like, Oh boy, another another person on the interwebs playing my favorite childhood game. I wonder what they will say about it. Uh, There we go. I can open these. I wonder what they will say about what's my f one of my favorite childhood games. And I just got to be here like... I, got, I just gotta be here like, you know, hey, um, I don't see, I, I'm not seeing it the same way you guys would growing up. Like, I'm seeing it as it's a, it's a coat of paint on Banjo-Kazooie. That's exactly how I'm seeing it right now. I don't hate this. I will say that much at the very least. Oh, I have done this incredibly wrong. Well, I don't get this shiny thing. I could reload the zone. If I just jump in the water, do I reload the zone? Oh no. Why does it have a flatline? Why does he flatline? That's terrifying. I realize SpongeBob isn't exactly it, it's a kid's cartoon, first off, but I also know it hasn't like really steered away from mildly horrific things. Why is it just a flat line? Somebody needs to answer me these, these questions. Answer me these questions three. One, who's okay? Is everybody okay over there, over there at Nintendo? Nintendo? Nickelodeon? I know this on Switch. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to eight-year-old Scooter. His life. Nintendo and Nickelodeon. Much like you, the viewer, might potentially have been or currently are. One thing I will give it, and... This is kind of the whole driving point for this game existing in the first place. Is this is an HD remaster of of an of a cla of what is like I said, what most people considered like the best licensed game ever made. Is that it actually does look pretty good for being a it does look pretty good for an HD remastering of a game. Like I do this this look is kind of up is is actually up to snuff with current HD things. I can I just get on top? I can. Why? To what extent? No, oh. Get them combos. The suck. I never talked to Patrick, I just realized. So this is one of the other few things I know about this game, and I will just kind of spill the beans on this, is that these socks are collect. Oh, I should get those. These socks are a collectible that Patrick needs every time. Of the every time you collect, he you get another golden spatula. Anyway, there's a details. Okay. I don't know what all these mean, but okay. So anyway, back on topic. As I said, it was... 
SpongeBob's weird. I think I understand what my parents had. I think I understand my parents' conf uh, uh, confusion and upsetness. Uh, checkpoints, checkpoints respawn here when you die, we yada yada. I think I understand why my parents were so confused. Well, Ren Stimpy is not like exactly the perfect uh, comparison I should be making here, but it's close enough. Just, this game is, or this series seems like it has something wrong with it. Can I do something with this bottle? No, I cannot do with the, I cannot do a thing with the bottle. Goodbye, jelly. Goodbye, jellyfish. Right, I'm hitting right bumper to do a vertical jump. Don't ask how I'm landing on stuff, by the way. There we go. Uh. Oh, I want to read that. Freezy fruit. Oh, only. Only Patrick can use. That. Good. Noted. I'll remember this in therapy. I, uh, anyway. Train of thought back to me. As I said before, it does look nice because, like, the original game, I will say that I, I have seen some comparison screenshots from, of the original game to this one, and the original game ran at, you know, ran at a crisp, like, 25 frames, 4x3, very dark looking. Oh, I thought the bounce, okay, the bouncing of whatever that is up there, I thought that was some, I thought it was somehow in a Discord call and somebody was tapping on the mic. I was like, oh god, how did I screw it up this bad? Um, but yeah, the original game didn't look that good, and it looked, and... Even though this is, you know, a, basically a rehashing of a game, it looks like the developers did take the time to, pr you know, A, smooth out any rough edges, like you should for an HD remake. But they, like the, oh god. They also took the time to... Hoo -hoo. Uh, they also did take the time to make it a smooth frame rate. Now... Um, I will... Oh, is there's... I'm going back. But, like, they did they did go through the effort to make it all, you know, a 60 FPS adventure. If, to what that means to anybody, I don't know. I do know that some versions of this game are probably going to be lacking, so to say. Just because, you know... When I say certain versions of the game... I, of course, mean, you know, like, the Nintendo Switch version probably going to be lacking in some aspects just because it is the Nintendo Switch version. How many are these? Two? I thought there were, like, five. Anyway, I need sock. Why does Patrick have so many socks? Heck yeah. Okay, I thought I'd get a little extra spin off. I thought I'd get a little extra distance off of that. But yeah, they did clean up things. Things look nice, and uh, something from the last, from the, you know, the original to this that I'm aware of is that the original was very dark and very grimy looking, if that makes any sense. Whereas this is very vibrant, like the show is. So it does very much echo, you know, the appearance that the original television show has. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Wow! 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 A bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in... Heaven! Sure, but I didn't come down here to talk to Gary. I was up here on the cliffside... ...gathering... ...shiny things. Whatever the heck this is. Uh... Okay, so we just jump at it? Oh. Well, I missed. I I don't appreciate the cheeks, by the way. For anybody curious, I don't appreciate the uh, the cheeks. Then again, children's cartoon, butt humor. I've evolved beyond the the use of the gluteus maximus humor. Okay, that's a lie. Anybody who says that they're beyond child humor like that is, is lying to you. 
almost everybody will crack up at a fart joke. Or at least a cleverly phrased one, we'll say. Okay, so this is... I know this is a line that uh, Tom Kenny does say in this game as Spongebob, but I like how I saw them, the ham written on that ham right away, and my first instinct was to go, oh, hammer, ham, arm, ham-handed, get him. It's clever. Are you okay, buddy? I can't talk to the random denizens? Okay, zero out of ten. I'm joking. Oh, hammer. But yeah, I, I have, I did see that and I was like, okay, that's a cute joke. Okay, you know what? A out of ten. Good job, guys. You got, you got me to, you got me to chuckle to myself. Oh, can I not go on top of that one? Come now, game. There, surely you must be joking. Oh, I cannot go on top of that one. I don't... Why can I not go on top of that? I feel like I'm being discriminated against. Uh... Speaking of being discriminated against and not remembering things... I feel like some of these jumps I'm making are... Not... The ones I'm supposed to be making. I mean, I'm not dead. But I'm probably not supposed to be doing half of these jumps. Maybe not as this character. Or maybe that's just the speedrun tech. But how do I get on top? Probably from over there. Anyway. But yeah, I will say that, like, at least right now, it's... I understand why people like it, why people will like this, because somebody who's not watched a whole lot of the show, but enough of it to get a feel, is I do see the love that is in this. In that it feels like an ep it feels like it's like ripped right out of an episode of the show. Okay, es esto? Oh, I need a move. Well, doesn't that suck? Incentive to come back, I see. Uh oh. Is there anything else down here I can do? I don't want to test my luck any further, I'll be honest with you. So I'm going to go back up. Uh, forgot about the double jump immediately. But anyway. I do see why people kind of are... In, kind of, you know... We're vying for this game to come out. And when it did get announced, why it is coming out and all that jazz. I understand it all. Because... It does feel like it's got the heart and the soul of the original show in it. It feels like it does have, like, the original heart and soul of the original show in it, and they did pay attention to certain things. Can I go up this way? No, I cannot. Why is it just a flat line? That's the scariest part to me. I feel like that would traumatize a child. No, you ain't. But now I don't have to be super precise in my movement, at least, right here. Anyway, let me just move on a little faster forward and... All that jazz. No, no hammers. I say I'm gonna move on faster and forward more, but then I turn around and go back for these boxes. But I did notice some stuff I missed, so. Anyway. I'm getting too explorative, I guess is what's my major issue. I did it again? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get punished as much for that one, because I don't think there's... Nah, it's not much more about it. Good. That's good. Didn't get punished. Anyway, I'm not gonna break these. Oh, come on. Let me ex let me have fun exploring. Like Squidward. Don't let anybody have fun. Uh, are you telling me about the water again? This is goo. Sorry. It's goo. Can't swim in the goo. Sponge boy me, Bob. I've I have been caught in the goo. 
I got lost in the sauce. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like this. Hey, uh... Where's my drop shadow? There it is. Can I get one of you? Dang it. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna risk that. Can I get over there? Sorry, sorry. I, I'm asking the hard-hitting questions. Now here's the other hard-hitting question. Can I... Oh, I don't need to double jump from here. It's fine. Huh, wonder why there's just random red things out here. Oh, well, questions for later. Uh... So, what is... Oh, that's the bungee cord. Was, that's the bungee jump. Got it. Noted. Duly noted. And forgotten about immediately. Is there a button I can press to, like, roll or go faster? Oh, there is a... Huh. So I don't have to slightly touch the control stick. I can hit left trigger and I can do the sneaking thing. That's nice. I don't know why. I... I understand. I understand the whole prospect of don't move, of don't go five million miles an hour on your control stick in order to sneak. But for whatever reason, when a game adds a specific button to it, uh, adds a specific button to it to let you do a sneaking command, I tend to enjoy the game a lot more. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! You know, I did not appreciate that. Oh. I kind of just thank you for the teleportation box. I kind of just lost all my footing. I won't be, I won't lie to you. Like the game like it literally just went. Oh, that explodes. Like I went to double jump and it just ate all my jump inputs. Hey, a golden spatula. I'm rewarded. As I walk through the golden spatula. Noted. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Hey, huh? W what Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Yeah, that's definitely just... That is the show. <laughs> that definitely feels like a bit out of the show. This is a slide. Oh. Are, are we Mario... Oh, oh, we are Mario 64-ing this. And it controls weird. Like, I understand what's going on here, but it controls weird. Oh, I missed something. Let me try again. What the? <laughs> okay, now it's not the flat line. It's how he, it's how he just went. It's forgive my phrasing, but how he just went ass up. Now, as I said, I've seen a little bit of this, so I know there is like a secret path. There it is. There's a secret path here. I don't know if at least anything at least to a sock. Uh. How about we do it right now? Uh, Spongebob because I'm after that collectible okay you can double jump noted because I want that collectible also I don't know if you want to be doing this to your tongue Spongebob but you know what it's not my tongue oh god well I checkpointed can I get back up there can I jump on the checkpoint I feel like there's got to be a way to get back up there. And there might be. 
Yeah. Okay. You know, that's pretty effective. So, I gotta try some stuff here. Because I feel like getting this collectible should not be this hard. Yeah, I like that. That's the collect- that's what I was waiting for. And... Yeah, you know, I feel like... Even though I'm not even all the way through the first area, I feel like I've actually gone through a lot of this, so... I think I'm actually gonna call it here. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this initial reactions to... Oh, I could save right here. Could. Uh, thank you for watching this initial reactions to SpongeBob SquarePants and the Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I will, the sound has now been officially cut out because it's replaying the intro. Uh, if you are curious about this about this game, want to know what systems it's available on, how much it will cost you, things of that sort, you will, can find it all in the description down below. Uh, I will say personally, when buying this, it did not cost me a full price game because this is just putting an HD texture on an old game, so it, I know it's not full price. But regardless, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to come back again when I'll react to a brand new title for the very first time. You folks, have a great rest of your day, and take care.